to be with us this evening. We was over at New Hope this morning, and I'm telling you, we had church in the house. Oh, we had church in the house. Praise God. You're going to have church in the house tonight. Bless his name. We've come certainly for the right reasons. As a matter of fact, it doesn't take a house full. Amen. It just takes a full house. Hello. With the Lord's presence is what I'm trying to bring in. Amen. For a two or three. Or gather together in my name, right? There am I in the midst of them. So I just want to be where Jesus is, don't you? Amen. Hallelujah. I'd rather be on the backside of a desert, amen, than a house full of snakes. Amen. Are you listening to me? Don't know nothing about it, praise God. No manifestation of God's presence. I want to be in the will of God wherever I am, don't you? Amen. All right. If you have your Bibles and like to read with us this evening, turn with us. To the book of Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles, chapter number fifteen. Amen. Praise His name. And you're talking about living. We're going to. old song says we're going to have the time of our life, Amen. right when the time of our life is over. So don't you grow weary in well doing, because in due season you are going to reap if you faint not. Amen. That's going to happen. Praise God. We talk about it, preach about it, sing about it, talk to one another about it. But I want to tell you, friend, when you experience it in reality. That we have talked about like Queen Sheba when she heard the wisdom of Solomon. She said the half ain't never been told. Hello. Same here. Uh, when we actually experience it, that that we cannot see as of now, um, you're going to be glad. You read me real good tonight. You're going to be glad that you said no to this life. And you said yes to Jesus in the midst of it all. Because I want to tell you something tonight. Jesus is greater than it all. Amen. He supersedes it all. Uh, let me tell you, that very one saint of God that's given you a difficult time. And he is the adversary of our soul. There was a time that he was not an adversary. Lucifer was a, an angel that served Almighty God. Amen. He was a ruler of the earth here. But uh, he chose, and he made a choice to rebel against the Creator. And everybody has got that right to do the same. Are you listening? Before Jesus come, Brother Keith, we didn't have a choice. Read me good. Before Jesus came, before God sent his son, we didn't have a choice. We were all sinners. Amen. But now that Jesus has come, has destroyed the works of Satan, his works under his feet. Now, this evening, we have a choice. Amen. But now that choice to be made, that choice is actually to be made in service to him. Amen. Now, you don't have the choice to be the person that you already are, and that is wicked. But now, to change that, there's a choice to be made. And I'm so glad 46 years ago that Jesus Christ enabled me to make that choice, to say yes to him. And I want to tell you from that time till now, life has not been the same. And to him be the glory. Praise his wonderful name. So you be strong in him. That matter of fact, that's some of what we want to talk about this evening in the book of Second Chronicles, chapter number 15, beginning with verse number 1. <clears throat> it says, In the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of God came upon Asariah, the son of Odab. And he went out to meet Asa and said unto him, Listen to every word. Hear ye me, Asa, in all Judah and uh, Benjamin. The Lord, the Lord is with you while ye be with him. And if ye seek him, he will be found of you. Hello? But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Right? It's going to happen. You can mark that down. Now, for a long season, Israel had been without a true God and without a teaching priest without law. But when they, in their troubles, did turn unto the Lord, God of Israel, and sought him, he was found of them. 
And in those times, there was no peace to him that went out, nor to him that came in, but great vexations were upon all the inhabitants of the countries. And nation was destroyed of nation, and city of city. For God did vex them with all adversity. It says, but verse 7, be strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Amen. And when Asa heard these words in the prophecy of Odad, the prophet, he took courage and put away the abomination, the abominable idols out of all the land of Judah and Benjamin and out of the cities which he had taken from Mount Ephraim and renewed the altar of the Lord that was before the porch of the Lord. And he gathered all Judah and Benjamin and the strangers that were uh, with him out of Ephraim and Manasseh and out of Simeon. And they fell to him out of Israel in abundance when they saw that the Lord his God was with him. So they gathered themselves together at Jerusalem in the third month, in the 15th year of the reign of Asa. They offered unto the Lord the same time spoils which they had brought, 700 oxen, 7,000 sheep. And they entered into the covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all of their heart and with all of their soul. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all of their heart and with all of their soul. Again, following back to verse 7, he says, But be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Would you raise your hands toward heaven and toward this evangelist this evening? Would you let's pray and let's agree for this evening's service. Father, we're thankful of your presence, thankful of the anointing again that's present with us, that resonates with us, my Lord, in this evening's service. We're asking, Father, tonight for such liberty uh, and triumph, Father, in this evening's service. You see the needs of this body. We're asking, Lord, for your will to be enjoined. And everything done in word or in deed will certainly be done for the glory of God. We need you, Lord. And we're just asking for your touch this evening. Quicken us only that you can, Father. And we'll give you praise, glory, and honor for that, my Lord, that you do. For this we ask in the name above every name, the lovely and wonderful name of Jesus. And everybody says, and before you sit down, turn around and get a hand or two or three and squeeze and hug a neck. Praise God. Great to be saved, isn't it? Amen. Amen. Great to know that you know that your name's in the book of life. So that means that if Jesus should come tonight, and he can come tonight, right? Then that means, you know what that means, don't you? That means that we would go. And living? Oh, boy. I'm talking about living. Hallelujah. No, no, no. We absolutely cannot conceive of it. We cannot comprehend it. It's absolutely incomprehensible of what the Lord certainly has got divinely structured for those that love him. Praise God. But, again, whatever we've got to encounter and go through with for his name's sake, it will be worth it. And uh, we know, uh, we're aware of the fact that, again, the adversary, of course, you know, Lucifer, um, as we wanted to bring out a while ago, he's already been there. He's experienced. He knows what's there. He knows the magnitude of it to, you know, not in full, but he knows the, 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 the uh, greatness of service uh, to the Lord. He knows it because he's been a ruler for him. And, uh, but now that he's a fallen angel, he's going to do everything that he can to discourage you from that desire, that holy fervor and ambition that you have now for it. It is real. He knows it's real. But, again, he's here. He is our adversary. And the adversary of your soul is going to do everything that he can to stop you from making it. So, for those of us that's been in service for any length of time, we know that we have certainly got to be strong and courageous in the Lord. Because I'm saying to us all tonight, it is a fight to the finish. Heaven is not coming easy. We're going to have to strive to enter into it. Satan, all of his emissaries, all of his evil designers, and all of his cohorts, they're at work tonight to discourage you ultimately from making it. Are you listening to me? But this is where you've got to stay ahead of him, friend, in this pursuit tonight. And how do we do that? That is certainly being strong in the Lord and uh, uh, not living a compromised life. Um, this that we have, this that we know, this that we have the knowledge of, the light of. 
then rest assured he's requiring us to walk in it. We cannot live less than it. We've got to abide in the light that we have and that we have received because this is where we're going to go certainly from victory to victory and from triumph to triumph as we keep walking in the light as he is in the light. Right? The word is the lamp to our feet and the light unto our path. And uh, certainly we know that, again, the adversary is going to do, use every tool and tactic that he can, Brother Keith, amen, to separate or to bring division between the believer and our Creator. And so this is where, as we in Christ, the individual in and of him or herself has not got the ability to cope, has not got the ability to stand, uh, we would certainly be overcome. But as long as you know that you're connected to the source, how many knows tonight that Jesus is your source? And how many knows tonight that Jesus has your resources tonight? Come on, somebody say, Jesus is my source. And Jesus has my resources. Praise his wonderful name tonight. Glory to the living God. Everything, amen, that we have need of tonight. And so now uh, Paul is going to write Amen to the Ephesians, and not only to the Ephesians, but to every believer in every church, if you will, until the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. And here's what he's writing to them. Uh, when you know that you have done all that you know to do, right, as a believer in Christ, hallelujah, and uh, when you know that you have done all that you know to do, then you know that all you've got to do it's just stand. Oh, can somebody just say stand? Right? Right? Because you know in time that your heavenly father is going to send you recruitment. Reinforcement is coming. Hallelujah. Why? Because we know we've been in service for some time. And we know that what our God not only has done, but what he is doing right and what he is going to do uh, I build on I build on because if we had no history we'd have no present tense we would have no future tense but because we have got an history are you listening saints of God we've got something to build from praise God because we look back we read we we believe that what we have uh, uh, picked up and the pages that we have turned and things that we have read about, we know that it's a very much reality, right? So he says in uh, uh, Romans 10, uh, uh, 17, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. Praise his wonderful name. Amen. So I know that I am his. I am a child. I am a son of God. You know that you tonight, you are a son and daughter of God. And so that means tonight as a believer that you've got excess Amen to him and all that he has, my friend, tonight. Praise his name. Right? Hallelujah. And so you're going to, amen, utilize your time. You're going to submit and subject yourself to him tonight. Amen. Because you know that your heavenly father in the name of Jesus Christ has got everything that you need tonight. Praise his name. And he's not going to leave you. Amen. Where you are. Praise his wonderful name tonight. But he's going to come. Hallelujah to my God. He's going to enable you, Brother Keith, to do that otherwise. Amen. That you could not do. Amen. We're not for relationship and fellowship that you have with him tonight. I feel something in this house. Amen. This afternoon. Does anybody feel the hand of God in this place right here here tonight? Praise his wonderful name. So he's next. And he says, finally, brethren, he says, be strong in the Lord. Somebody just tell your neighbor, uh, God is faithful. Y'all don't let nobody hear you say that now, okay? Huh? huh? Say it, Janice. Come on. What? So that means that you can trust him at all times. Jeremiah 17 says, blessed is the man whose trust is in the Lord. You know what the trust means in the Old Testament? It's the same as F-A-I-T-H in the New Testament. It's having faith, Charlie, in Almighty God. Praise his wonderful name tonight, right? 
Amen. You've got your trust in Him. You know that you know that whatever you're encountering, whatever you're facing tonight, hey, you believe without any doubt your Heavenly Father is going to sustain you. Your Heavenly Father is going to provide for you tonight. Your Heavenly Father is going to work whatever you're encountering in for your best good to help somebody or to give God some praise in this house of God tonight. Praise His holy name. Blessed is the man whose trust is in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. He shall be like a tree planted by the waters, spreading her roots by the rivers of waters. He'll not know when the dry season comes. His leaf will be green. Amen. He'll not be careful in the year of drought. Bless his name. Come on, somebody. He will not cease from bringing forth his fruit. Somebody ought to shout in this house of God tonight. Praise. Say so. I'm really not going to worry. I'm really not going to be so moved by the things that I'm environed by. Amen. In this life. Because I know that I know that my heavenly father is a very present help in the day of trouble, my friend, this afternoon. And no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Can somebody say amen tonight? Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. 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 Finally, brethren, be strong. Why y'all sitting so far back for Well, if he'd have walked about another seven pews, I don't think it would really wore you out. You'd have been on the front pew. And I may not have to talk so loud. Now, that probably wouldn't work, would it? Y'all know that, huh? Praise God. Finally, brethren... Be strong in the Lord and in the power, there you go, see, see, of his might. Again, he's got all the resources that we need tonight, right? He's got the nine fruits of the Spirit that works in conjunction with the nine gifts of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Brother Keith, in a church this side of heaven is not a New Testament church if it does not have the gifts of the Spirit working in the, and operating in the midst of the body of Christ. Amen. Tonight. So I think the churches are far beneath. Amen. Right? Uh, where they ought to be tonight. So, thank God for the gift of faith. Thank God for the gift of prophecy. Thank God for the gift of healing. Thank God for the gift of knowledge. Thank God for the gift of wisdom. Thank God for the gift of miracles. Thank God for the gift of discernment thank god for the gift of tongues thank god for the gift of interpretation of tongues can somebody say something in the house of god amen this afternoon so if you're clothed with these things and dressed with these things you're adequate praise this name for whatever comes your way hallelujah it doesn't matter the greatness of it or the magnitude of it tonight praise this wonderful name because the one man in god is a majority tonight Amen to Micah. Somebody ought to give God a good shout of praise in this house of God this afternoon. Praise this wonderful name. Then he says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Hey, right? Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. He says, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. He says, stand, therefore. Somebody say, stand. Yeah. No. That's right. You're fixing to see today. Praise the name of God's holy son. Amen. Robbie, just sort of stand and see the salvation of God. Praise his wonderful name tonight. Oh, let me say something to you right here. He says, uh, mm, he that, you ready? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the, y'all won't come up here. I have to come back here, I guess, huh? 
he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, I said, I will say of the Lord, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Somebody say that. In Him will I trust. Surely he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisy and pestle. He will cover thee with his feathers and under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid. I feel the Holy Ghost in this house this afternoon. Come on, somebody. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it will not come nigh thee. Great God, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because you have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high. Great God, somebody give God a good shout of praise in this house this afternoon. Therefore, no evil shall befall thee, nor any plague come nigh thy dwelling. He will give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all of thy ways. Come here, Keith. Stand right there. As much as Satan wants to get into his house, as much as Satan wants to destroy what he's got, as much as the adversary wants his stuff, are you listening to me, saints of God? Huh? The Lord says, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh, Lord, I, I can't get to what Job's got. You've got a hedge about him. Come on, huh? <clears throat> so Keith, that sort of lets me know that he tried to get there before prematurely. Uh-huh. But no, no, he couldn't penetrate. He he couldn't get through. When God says you're not getting through, that mean, he means exactly that. You're not getting through tonight. Doesn't matter how great it may be. Doesn't matter. Amen. The magnitude of it tonight. God says you're not getting through. You're not getting through tonight. Um, the angel of the Lord encamps around about them that fears him. And he says, and delivers them. Praise his wonderful name tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, 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 so as bad as they would like, as much as they would like, praise his name. There's a covering there. Amen. That they absolutely cannot penetrate tonight. I don't know about you, but saints of God, I'm so glad tonight to know that I know. Amen. That I am under the covering of almighty God tonight. Can somebody say yeah? Can somebody say yeah in this house of God tonight? Praise his wonderful name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Keith. So, can't penetrate. So a thousand shall fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it will not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Therefore no evil shall befall thee, nor any plague come nigh thy dwelling. He will give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all of thy ways, and they will bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Brother, Keith, only you. No other obstacle, no other thing can separate you from him. You, unless you kick against the prick. See? Then when a person does that, he instantly makes himself vulnerable. Why? Because he's broken God's law. And then when a person breaks the law of God, then he makes himself vulnerable to Satan's attack. Hallelujah. Because then the adversary is going to then enter in because of the broken law. But when there is no law broken, I don't care who he comes with. I don't care what he comes with. Your life is hedged about. Your life is preserved. Your life is covered tonight. Or don't care how many he comes with tonight. Uh-uh. All God's got to say is give a word tonight. That's mine. Praise his name. But then again, Brother Keith, whatever he may allow, bless his wonderful name. 
God is going to sustain you where that you are. And it's going to be for his glory tonight. Amen. Praise God to let know that what God has done for you, then you're going to witness to somebody else. He'll do for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, he never changes tonight. He's always the same. Praise his wonderful name. And everything that's working, he's working for the glory of God. Hallelujah to my God. Can somebody say amen tonight in the house of the Lord? He says, then you shall tread upon the lion and the adders and the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. He says, because he has set his love upon me. He says, therefore will I deliver him. And I'll set him on high because he hath known my name. He'll call upon me and I will answer him. I'll put him in trouble. And I will deliver him, says the Lord God of hosts. And I will honor him and with a long life will I satisfy him. And I will show him my salvation. Hey, God Almighty, somebody give God a good shout in the house of God this afternoon. Praise his wonderful name. Hmm. So, uh, now, uh, stand. Therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. What does the wise man Solomon write to us in the book of Proverbs 23, verse 23? Here's what he says. He says, buy the truth and sell it not. When you get the truth, who is truth? That's what Pilate asked Jesus. Who is truth? He was talking to it. John 14, 6. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And then he says, if he had known me, he should have known my Father also. And from henceforth thou knowest him and have seen him. And then Philip says, show us the Father and it sufficeth us. And then Jesus was saying, have I been so long time with you and yet has thou not known me? Philip, for he that has seen me have seen the Father. And how sayest thou then show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? In the words that I speak, I speak not of myself, but the Father which dwelleth in me, he doeth the words, believe me, that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Amen. Praise God. That's another message. Amen. Truth. And above all, he says, take the shield of faith that you may quench all the fiery darts of the devil. Exactly. Mm-hmm. 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 Praise God. Then what? The helmet of salvation. Then he says, carry the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Saints of God, He can dress you with, He can put on. Are you listening? But, Kenny, if it's not mixed with prayer, if it's not intertwined with prayer, it's not going to work tonight. Hallelujah. But when you've got that within you, Brother Keith, tonight, stimulated and motivated within you, amen, by the power of prayer, amen, tonight, praise his wonderful name. Yes. Hallelujah. No opposition is going to stand against you tonight. Praise his name. First John 4, 3 says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. Praise the Son of the Blessed. Amen. This evening. Oh, how many is glad to know tonight that you are more than a conqueror. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ tonight. Then Paul writes to us in the book of Amen, 2 Corinthians chapter number 2. Where he writes these words. Thou therefore, my son, he said, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. And the things which thou hast heard of me, he says, the same commit thou unto faithful men. He says, who shall be able to teach others also. Right? Teach others also. Then he says, endure hardness as a good soldier. For no man that warreth entangles himself with the affairs of this life. Why? That he may please him whom have chosen him to be a soldier. How many is glad tonight to know that you're on the winning side? Huh? 
I said, how many is glad to know tonight that you're on the winning side? Praise the Son of the Blessed. I certainly am. Praise the name of God's Holy Son. Hallelujah. Praying with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Again, and the Spirit of God came upon Asariah, the son of Oded. And he went out to meet Asa. Saints of God. Do we realize, do we understand tonight, there is no, there is no, there is no element, there is no power, there is no force, no negative force that will, be, that will ever be able to stand against the spirit of the living God? Huh? Huh? No force. In all Judea and Benjamin, he said unto them, Hear ye, Asa, in all Judea and Benjamin, the Lord is with you while ye be with him. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Other words, want to put simple? You think sometimes that, of course, Satan wants you to agree with him. He wants you to make you feel that way. I mean, that's, that's his aim and drive. See, as a matter of fact, that's his purpose. That's his motive. That's his intent. He's doing everything that he can to separate you from him. Right? And then once he can separate you from him, then pretty much he can devour. See? Right? So, if he can get you just to uh, turn your back on him. Right? Then, and only then, will God turn his back on you. So, what are we saying tonight? Whatever you do, do not make yourselves vulnerable. To him. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Negative forces are going to come against us. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you, friend, there's a place that you and I can go and combat these forces. Not of ourselves. Listen, when you neglect prayer, you make yourself vulnerable. When you neglect the reading of the word, you make yourself vulnerable. When you neglect the house of God, you make yourself vulnerable to Satan's attacks tonight. Can somebody say amen? Because we need the fellowship. Amen. Of the brothers and sisters, my friend, tonight, because there's strength in unity. Can somebody say amen tonight? And the devil knows that. Hallelujah. Amen. One can move a thousand. Two can move ten thousand. And Brother Keith, when you've got the people coming together with the same mind, the same intent, the same purpose, the same drive, the same motive. Hallelujah to my God. Praise this name. Amen. That one can pick up a hundred all right. But when you've got another one that comes, then that 100 pound becomes even that much lighter. Can somebody say amen tonight? Hey, the same thing in the warfare. Hey, amen. Yes, ma'am. One can fare or will fight and one can carry on warfare. But when that other one comes in with them and bows down with them and humbles down with them and intercedes with them and prays with them, praise this wonderful name. I'm telling you, saints of God, something's going on in the elements, my friend, tonight. Praise the name of God. There's a stirring going on in the elements, my friend, tonight. Praise his wonderful name. That Satan does not want to take place nor happen. Amen. Again, because he cannot deal with the presence of Almighty God tonight. So again, if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Now for a long season... Israel had been without the true God. That's by choice. Now for a long season, Israel had been without God. Brother Charlie, I've just made up my mind. I'm not living, I'm not living a day without Him. Is, is anybody in agreement with me? I'm not living a day without Him. Come on, somebody. Huh? The good times, the bad times, the up times, the down times, in times, out times, right? I'm resolved. I'm resolute tonight. Praise his name. Why? But come on, y'all. Come on, talk to me, somebody. I've sat down too many times. I've had fellowship with him too many times. I've been up under his father. 
too many times. Can somebody say something to me? To throw in now. To turn back now. To forsake him now. To say no to him now. I've got too much to gain to lose. Can somebody say yeah? I said I've got too much to gain to lose tonight. There's too much in view. There's too much ahead. Ah, somebody give God some praise. Somebody touch somebody beside you. Come on, somebody touch somebody beside you in this house of in the name of Jesus. Speak that name right now. Praise his wonderful name. Yea, Lord, I thank you for your presence. I thank you, my God, for your hand in this house right now. Mm. Mm. My goodness. My goodness. And without a teaching priest and without law. Mm. Conjunction, but. When they in their trouble, listen, did turn unto the Lord, God of Israel, and sought him, he was found of them. You understand, right? When you seek him, and when you seek him with all of your heart, you will find him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. I said, blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of the sinner, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Right? Nor sits in the seat of the, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. Come on, somebody. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that brings forth his fruits and his seasons. And his leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth, it shall prosper. But the ungodly are not so. They're like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor the sinner, the congregation of the righteous. The Lord knows the way of the righteous. But the way of the ungodly shall perish. Can somebody say amen tonight? So again, tell your neighbor, I'm so glad. I'm on the winning side tonight. Keith, I'm so glad tonight, brother. I'm on the winning side. Praise his. Be strong, saints. Be strong. You've got to be strong in these last days. You've got to be clothed in these last days. You've got to be suited up in these last days. You've got to put on Christ as a garment. In these closing hours. That we're living in this evening. Praise this wonderful name. Warfare. Everyone knows. Hear me, church. Every day of your life. Every day of your life. Listen to me. If you've got a TV. Every day of your life. Be careful and very precautious. On what you turn on. Are you listening to me? Because what you turn on. Can make you or break you. There's too much evil. On it. You understand what I'm saying? Robbie I don't have one. I don't want one. Oh yeah I've seen them. Sit down, watched. But Brother Keith, as of course, you know, I'm 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 not really so much really intrigued with all this football and baseball and soccer and and just whatever, you know. Uh, you know, some is a matter of fact, it is a God of America. You're listening, it's it's, it's it's a God. Matter of fact, yeah. And I'm talking about even some Pentecostals, brother. They're bringing the big TVs in to sit down and watch Super Bowl. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Read my lips. Hogwash. I said hogwash. This. I wonder what they would do if Jesus walked down the aisle. Well, that's sad, ain't it? That's sad. So, be careful on what you turn on. Music. Be careful on what kind of music goes into your ear gates. 
because the stuff that comes into your eye gates and ear gates is going to come to your heart. And then you're going to battle it. When it's shut off, it's not bothering you. Praise this wonderful name. Hallelujah. Then, Brother Keith, there's other things that we can certainly uh, delight ourselves in and, praise God, uh, become a more effective intercessor for the kingdom of God as we, amen, call upon that name. So, and then if you've got internet, you be very precautious on what you type into because that can get you as well. Had an old gentleman, and I mean old gentleman. Let me tell you what Satan don't, he doesn't care. He's not concerned about age. Are you listening to me? He's not concerned about age. He says, Brother Swanson, he was 75 years of age. Rob, he says, I've got a problem with the internet. It's there. And a person can get into most anything he wants to. And then once you're there, it's a trap. And it's hard to get out of. It's hard to get out of. So, what do? Don't go there. Stay away from it. Again, it's things that the adversary of the soul, Kenny, is using to separate people from the presence of Almighty God. Saints of God, it's not worth it. Are you listening? It's not worth it. Praise this wonderful name. There's too much that lies ahead. There's too much in view tonight. Praise this wonderful name. And here's what the Apostle Paul had to say. He says, finally, brethren, he says, rejoice in the Lord. He says, for me to write the same things to you, to me, indeed, is not grievous. He says, beware of dogs, evil workers, concision. He says, because we are the circumcision which worship God in spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have got no confidence in the flesh. He says, though I might have confidence in the flesh, if any other man think that he hath whereof, he might trust in the flesh. He says, I the more. He says, I was circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin. He says, I was a Hebrew of the Hebrews. He says, as touching the law. He says, I was a Pharisee. Concerning zeal, he says, I persecuted the church. He says, touching the righteousness that was in the law, he says, I was blameless. He says, but what things were gained to me, he says, those I counted lost for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ, my Lord, for whom I've suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb that I may win Christ. Oh, Paul's brother got to that point. I'm not going to let anything stand between me and my master tonight. Praise his wonderful name tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. It's all about things above. I've sat down too many times. Amen. At my, my father's table. I put my feet upon his table and eat too many times. I partook of his divine nature too many times. And by the grace of Almighty God, I will not tolerate anything to stand between me and my heavenly father tonight. Somebody ought to... Y'all don't shout, I'll preach and shout, I'll do it all. Praise the name of the Lord. Hey, glory to the living. Hmm. Somebody say, Jesus is Lord tonight. Come on, somebody shout it out. Can somebody say, Jesus is Lord tonight? Hey, Jesus is Lord tonight. Praise his holy name. Yea, I can all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ, my Lord, for whom I've suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb that I may win Christ, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness of God by faith, and that I may know him, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his suffering, being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I might obtain to the resurrection of the dead, not as though I'd already obtained, or either were made perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend in that for which also I'm apprehended of in Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, I'm forgetting those things that are behind me, and I'm reaching forth to those things that are before me. He says, I press for the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ tonight. Can somebody say yeah? Hey, can somebody say yeah? yeah. Praise God. Saints of God, be strong tonight. I said be strong tonight in Him. Look up. Never trust to yourselves. Never look to yourselves. Self will let you down. Self will let you down. But if self is subjected to him, committed to him, devoted to him, consecrated to him, 
Loyal to him? Self-stand. Because it ain't you. But it's Christ in you. The hope of glory. That's enabling you to do that otherwise that you could not do. Amen. We're not for his indwelling tonight. Can somebody say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Be strong, saints of God. <laughs> I said be strong, saints of God. And fight this good fight of faith tonight. That you may lay hold on that eternal life that Jesus has uh, prepared for those that love him. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God robs eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Don't you love him? Praise his wonderful name. You be strong in him again. Faithful, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Thank you, Lord. Eyes have not seen. Wow. Can I just talk a little bit now? Finally, brethren, here's what. And I, he says, when I came to you, I came not with excellency of speech and other wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. Here's what he says. I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. I was with you in weakness and fear and in much trembling. He says, my speech and my preaching was not, was not, was not, was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and power that your faith should not rest in the wisdom of man, but in the power of God. He says, how be it? We speak not wisdom among them that are perfect or, you know, yet not the wisdom of this world. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, he says, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. He says, which none of these princes knew, for had they known, he said, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, he said, eyes have not seen, nor ear heard, neither entered the heart of man, the things that God has got prepared for those that love him. But listen, but God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. What man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man that's within him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Here's what he says. But you have not received the Spirit that is of this world, but the Spirit which is of God. That you may know the things that are freely given unto you in words which we teach. Not which a man's wisdom teacheth, but that which the Holy Ghost teacheth. Listen. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Right? For the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. He says, because they're foolishness unto him. He says, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Amen. But listen to what he says. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Yet he himself of no man, now carnal man, is judged of no man. Amen. Then he says, and he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is not judged of no man, because the natural man, Keith, don't have a clue, brother, as to where you're living and how you live what you live. See? Because they're void of the presence of God. He says, Who hath known the mind of the Lord? Talking of the natural man. That he may instruct you. He can't. He don't have a clue. God bless you tonight. Thank you for coming. Hallelujah. I hope something's been said to lift you up a little bit. To take courage in him. To want to fight that good fight of faith. To lay hold on that eternal life tonight. Praise his wonderful name. Glory to God. Come on, hold to God's unchanging hands. He's got a strong arm that's unfailing. And here's what Paul writes to us in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Beginning with verse 3. He says these words. He says, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. He says, but they're mighty through God. Yes. To the pulling down of strongholds and the casting down of imagination in every high thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Yes. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Listen. Having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when our obedience has been fulfilled. And him. Keith, what he's saying to us is, is that every believer has got the power in the name of Jesus to keep his or her thoughts in subjection. And when a thought comes to you that's unlike him, then you've got the authority to discard it and to get rid of it tonight. Yes. Hello? I feel like I hit something. Huh? Must 
too big. I don't know where it can take it. Man, I can take it. I don't know. You know. <laughs> Praise God. Woof. It's real tonight. So, saints of God, by your loyalty, your faithfulness, your allegiance to Him, praise God. It's up to you of what you want to be every day. Every day. Praise God. Listen, you can choose to pray more. You can choose to pray less. You can choose to read more. You can choose to read less. You can choose to go to church more. You can choose to go less. It's a choice that each person makes tonight. And the choices that you make is going to determine your spirituality. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. I want to become more like him, don't you? So let me, for me to you, go into his presence more. Spend more time in his presence. But I, I, I just like I don't know what to pray. Turn some pages. In prayer, get a get a get a get a get a, get a get a favorite chapter maybe that you like, and just and just gear, and and read it in prayer, read it in prayer. Praise God. Anybody can humble themselves down, and you know sort of tear in His presence and ask Him, Lord, help me. And ask Him for direction, right? Isn't that what the Word says? The Word is the lamp to our feet and the light into our path. Hallelujah. And uh, he will certainly direct our steps. The Chronicle says that we take root in him downward, that we may bear fruits upward tonight. Amen. So I just want to encourage you tonight to look up and trust him with all of your heart. And don't let the elements of life frustrate you. Praise God. Don't discourage you ultimately. But uh, you depend upon him and you look to him and acknowledge him. And I guarantee you, friend, where you are, you're going to find strength in him tonight to enable you. Praise this uh, holy name to uh, take the next step. God bless you was our prayer tonight. Brother Keith, thank you for the invite, brother, uh, to come and to be and to be a part of this evening service. Is there a need in your life tonight? Is there anybody in the uh, service that needs prayer? Something maybe that you're combating and going through with and you need prayer tonight? Well, I've got news for you. There's somebody here now that can touch you. Come on up. <laughs> we'll pray for you right here. <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> ask the Lord to touch you in this evening service. Praise this wonderful name. Glory to the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know God's more than enough, don't you? Absolutely so. Come on, Keith. Church, stand with us all over the house. Go ahead and you, 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 you bless him right now. As you bless him right now. And you thank him. Uh -huh. You thank him for what he's doing right now. Go ahead and thank him for what he's doing right now. See him see him doing it now. See him doing what you're asking. The Bible says whatsoever you ask in prayer, believing, he said you would receive. You would receive. And he means exactly that tonight. Praise his wonderful name. Hallelujah. Father, come to the crown of her head. Hallelujah to the soles of her feet. Let your precious mighty God right now get a train of her feet now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. That your anointing captivate, that your anointing rest right now. Praise his name, that healing virtue. That he has a whole I speak strength into your spirit now. I said, I speak strength into your spirit right now. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Praise the Son of the blessing. And God, let you bring clarity of thought. Right now, touch her mind right now. Praise the name of God's Holy Son. And we'll give you praise and glory and honor, mighty God, right now for what you're doing in the name of Jesus right now. Somebody give God some praise. Come on, somebody give God some praise in this house right now. Praise this wonderful name. Praise this wonderful name. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Praise this name. Anybody else need prayer with you? Praise the Son of God. Praise the Son of the Blessing. Praise Him. Get that hand beside you. Just get that hand beside you right now. Father. Thank you for the anointing that's in this place. Father, lay your hands upon this body. Father, let them not trust in themselves. But Lord, let them see you where they are. Let them experience you where they are. Let them acknowledge you where they are. In all that they face and experience in life. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let your anointing captivate them and embrace them and quicken them, mighty God. Tonight, Father, we give you praise and glory and honor for everything, mighty God, that you do. Let your presence be real about them right now. Praise the Son of God tonight. In the name of Jesus, the name. That is above every name. Father, we're thankful of the anointing that destroys the yoke and that removes the burden. Mighty God, tonight there's no 
negative force, Father, that can stand against the anointing of God. And even so, Father, right now, I pray the uh, Spirit of God captivated this congregation in the glory, for the glory of God. Yes. And we give you praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Brother Keith. Again, we thank you for being here tonight. I was thinking when Brother Tracy was preaching, he was talking about that hedge around us. You'll see Satan. You'll see that that he's throwing at you, Brother, Tr Brother Tracy. And he'll tell you he's got you. But you remember that protection is there. Amen. Satan can only give what we give him. He can only have what we give him. Yes, now, if, if, we, if we decide, as Brother Tracy said, that we're going to stay in Christ, we're going to stay in that protection, Amen. he can't reach us and he can't get us. So, again, we thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, Brother Tracy, for coming. We love you and appreciate you. Um, don't forget, Wednesday night we'll have Bible study. If you have not got your new Sunday school book, Bible study books, they're on the, on the back ledge there. Pick them up on the way out. If, if you can't come Wednesday night, go ahead and get you one, take it home, and read it. It's still good reading. If you got any questions, ask me and Brother Chris Sunday if you can.